I thought it wasn't recording. I was about to be so mad. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Is this no shoes? I'm not Are wearing you? shoes. I'm wearing my box cat socks. They're cool, but you have to be careful. Would you trip over? I, you didn't see me in the window? What? You didn't see me in the window? I just jumped out the window. Shut up, bitch. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys had a safe and fun Halloween. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make these masks. They're pretty cool. Shout out to the inspiration people we got them from. This is them. If I had the extra money, I would definitely support them and buy it. But I am broke and artistic. So decide to make them yeah now i'm gonna show you guys how i did it this could also be used with any mask design so you could do a jason mask a screen mask literally just cut the shape and anything you want and paint it and you got yourself a homemade cheap mask that looks good yeah hopefully this could help you guys sorry i didn't post it sooner than halloween my bad if you guys end up do making a mask, please tag me on Instagram. This is my Instagram. I would really love to see it. Anyways, let's get started on to how we made these masks. First, I'm going to be measuring out a circle on a piece of cardboard and cutting that out to the size that I want it. And once I got that all cut out, I'm just going to perfect it and trim the edges until I get it the way I like it and the shape that I want. Then I'm going to put my face near the mask and use a sharpie to mark where I want my eyes and the nose to be. So you could see how I did it in the video, but it worked pretty well. Then I am just going to be sketching the base of the mask and Bianca helped me out because she's much better at it. Yeah, she just added little details so that way I know where to paint. You could also draw a line in the middle of the mask to make sure that you're doing it even and in the middle. And then I went ahead and got a knife and made two holes where the eyes were and started a hole where I wanted the beak to start and that's just so it's easier for me to go in with scissors and cut it properly. So I went ahead and cut the beak out but you want to still leave it attached to the piece of cardboard and just have it sticking up a little bit. And then Bianca went ahead and cut out the eyeballs with the knife because it came out a lot more clean and exact but you could also use an exacto knife. Please be careful and make sure you get your parents to help you with this if you're young and she got you don't act like she didn't but yeah once we got all the things cut out we went ahead and made this mixture the way we made this mixture is one part flour and one part warm water and then you boil four parts water in a separate pan and then you add the mixture to that boiling water then you're going to want to cut a bunch of little pieces of paper into strips and you want to go ahead and, and dip the paper into the mixture and start plastering it onto your cardboard this is just going to help it add texture and more dimension and make it look a lot cooler it does does not have to be perfect and you could literally just slap it on as much as you want slap on more on the places where you want to be higher like on the nose and on the cheekbones and leave the other parts thinner to where you want it to be flatter and you just want to keep doing this and building it up until you get it the way you like it and don't worry if it's not perfect the paint will make it all come together in the end all you want is to add some texture and dimension with this paper mache now after this you're going to want to let it dry for a little bit and then i went ahead and put a plastic bag on the ground so i wouldn't get paint everywhere and now i'm going to start adding the color i decided to start with a base tan color and go ahead and start going in with shadows and details I think it made it a lot easier to blend by starting with the lighter color and then adding the darker colors as I went And it really added a nice effect on how the paint looked and smoothed I also used the picture for reference just because I think it's a lot easier than just going off of my imagination It's a lot easier for me to look back and forth at the picture and see what they did and try to use inspiration from them So like I said, I'm just adding dimension and depth with darker colors and going around and around and trying to blend it into the mask to make it look more good as you could see you do want to leave some dimension and make some parts darker and some parts lighter and this will just make it look super cool and have a cooler effect it's okay if it looks messy because it's supposed to honestly i forgot what this called brush is called i think it's a fan brush this brush was really good to add like the speckles and the little details in the mask without having to like go over it a bunch and i literally just tapped and kept going um making it look more in depth and bringing it more in towards the middle and i just kept 
kept doing that and getting darker and darker on the outsides. Black is where it really came in to give it that burnt look and effect and it started coming and looking really good together. Really just take your time with it and play around with the colors, honestly. It's okay if you mess up, you could just repaint it. And um, yeah, like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. So it's just a super fun project you could do with yourself or with your friends. And like I said, it doesn't have to be an owl mask. You could do literally any shape that you want to and add any paint that you want to. As you could see, the black really adds the depth and gives it that black burnt and wood look. And then I'm going to go around the eyes and just deepen and darken those up to make it look more sunken. I just added a couple more details and I ended up loving how it came out. It came out so freaking cute. And here's how the costume turned out. Um, we went to a little event and I didn't vlog that much. I'm sorry, but this is all I got. I really love how the costumes came out. I think we looked super cool and it was super cheap and yeah. So that's all we did and they came out pretty freaking good to, to, to our horns because they came out really freaking good, actually. I'm very proud of us. Here's how my costume came out. I wore, like, a feather headpiece thing. Shout out to my grandma Nini. It literally came in handy. So good. And I got compliments on it and asked where I got it and stuff. So, shout out to my grandma Nini for real. But I hope you guys enjoyed this and that it helped you guys. And I appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you, guys. I'll see you guys very soon. I hope you all had a great October. And yeah, please comment what you guys wear for Halloween because I'd love to know for real. Oh my goodness, I should do a rating Halloween costumes. Let me know if y'all want to do like a rating my subscribers Halloween costumes. I like seeing people's creativity come out, you know? So yeah, anyways, have a great one. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.